Hi everyone, how are y'all doing today? Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Nafal Mawali. I'm a 21 year old transgender woman from Tel Aviv, Israel and I make mostly transgender related content here on my YouTube channel. If that's something that's interesting to you, make sure to watch and let's get right into the video. So recently I moved from peels of estrogen to stickers to patches and as you all know from my five years on hormones video, I was essentially like five years with estrogen pills. This video is right here on the screen. What happens is I started to live a healthier lifestyle with time and my doctor told me that he advises me to go on patches instead of pills. So at the first Time he told me that I was like no like pills are the strongest pills are the best I get the best results but I realized that it's not true after I researched and found that it was not true so I decided to go with the healthier option stickers right now I'm two months already on stickers and I can share with you my differences between five years on estrogen pills and me being on estrogen patches now. So let's compare a little bit. I found this research from Dr. Medi Deutsch from California University where she's telling about the differences between estrogen pills and estrogen patches or stickers, how you want to call that. So estrogen is the primary female hormone. It's involved in many of the physical and emotional changes seen in transition. Estrogen may be given as a pill by injection or by a number of skin preparations such as a gel, spray or a patch. Pills are convenient, cheap and effective, but are less safe if you smoke or are older than 35. Okay, so I wanted to just say that I'm 21, almost 22, but I think like pills are much more dangerous in any age because it's pills and it goes through your stomach and it's not how it's supposed to be in the natural way. That's not how, you know, your body's supposed to get its estrogen. Going through the skin, it's much more safe and natural in any age. Patches can be very effective and safe, but it needs to be worn at all times. Yeah, that's true because I've noticed that it's not the most comfortable thing at first, but I got used to it. And you know what? I prefer to wear patches all my life than taking pills that eventually can harm my health and make my life worse. In a small number of cases, they can cause some skin irritation. Many trans women are interested in estrogen through injection. Estrogen injections tend to cause very high and fluctuating estrogen levels, which can cause mood swings, weight gain, hot flushes, anxiety, or migraines. Additionally, little is known about the effects of this high level of over the long term. If injections are used, it should be at low dose and with an understanding that there may be uncomfortable side effects and that switching to other forms may cause mood swings or hot flushes. So I never tried injections and I don't want to try and I don't think I even have like the option to do it in Israel but if there was injections I wouldn't take them because it sounds very not healthy. I take like injections for my blocker already so taking another injection for estrogen doesn't sound very good to me. I'm happy with the patches right now. Some trans women have encountered difficulties obtaining a consistent supply of injected estrogen due to ongoing problems with the supplier. 
Realistically, there is no evidence that injections lead to more rapid or a greater degree of feminization. In my practice, I generally avoid prescribing injections unless under very specific circumstances. Okay, so this was a part of the research of Dr. Medi Deutsch from California University. Thank you for sharing with us, Dr. Medi. I just want to say that the estrogen patches or stickers, wait, let me, you know what, let me show you where I put them exactly. So if you can see, I put them right here, one here and one on this side, one on each side. And I switch them every three and a half days. So it's 84 hours. Yeah, 84, I think. 84 hours. Every 84 hours, but not like religiously. You can do an hour before, two hours later. It's totally okay. So for me, it's like Tuesday evening. Okay, so for me, it's Tuesday evening and Saturday morning. Then I remove them and put them in other place. But when I switch my stickers, let's say I put them here, okay? I just want to demonstrate that always in my lower back, that's where I put them or above my butt, okay? So let's say this is the place that I put them the last time. So the next time I'll put them here, like near. And the next time it will be here the next time here because every time I just put them slightly a few centimeters above or below the last time because it's getting very itchy and I want to make it so it's clean between every time that I switch it up like the area of the back so yeah every time you put this like slightly I move this a little bit to other places at the beginning it started to peel off on the side and it's not very convenient for that reason I'd say Peels, of course, are more easy, they're more comfortable. Some places may be cheaper. Here in Israel, it's the same price, pretty much, but I'd say that peels are more comfortable. People tell that they are more effective, but I don't see any difference. If so, I see only that I feel much healthier. My gut feels better because peels go through stomach. And here it's like more natural way with the stickers. So I'm much more satisfied. I like the stickers and I'm going to stick with them. Stick with them. Stick with them. I'm going to stay with the stickers. I like the results so far. I feel the same but much healthier, if that makes sense, because if I would wake up every day like the last five years and I take three pills every morning to my stomach. It doesn't feel very healthy at all actually. And now I just don't take any medicine and I'm so grateful for that. I just put on the stickers and forget about that for three and a half days. Yes, when I put on the pants or skirt or any clothes, I need to take that into consideration because it can peel off, but not very easily. It sticks pretty well. In the shower, it doesn't peel off. So pretty much it's convenient. You get used to it with time. And yeah, that's why I prefer to be with stickers all my life and not to take pills which will ruin my body when I be older. I like to keep my health and I think that the stickers with the right doses that your endocrinologist give you, always ask your endocrinologist and you'll get like the same effects. My boobs remained the same, my face remained the same, my hair growth remained the same, and nothing got masculinized. Masculinized. What I'm trying to say here is that I'm the same feminine woman that I was all those years, and yeah, stickers work just very fine like pills. So I very much recommend it for your health too. And that's my experience switching from pills after five years to stickers. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, comment down below what you think, what you want me to post next. And I love you so much. Bye guys.